Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a picture that I did of a moth and it's done with uh, Koinor pastel pencils in a set of 24 and some palm pastels just to do the background and it's done on the Canson Mitant uh, toned paper and I think this was the earth tones that I'm using here. Um, so as you can see I started out by doing a really light sketch with the peach pencil and then started to go in a section at a time and uh, add in the base colours and the detail. Now obviously in a set of 24 pastels you don't have a massive range of different shades to use so I did um, have to use some colours that weren't in the original reference photo um, but I don't think it really actually detracted from the end piece. I think it's quite nice actually that to not completely use everything from the reference photo to adapt it a little bit. So as you can see here, I started off by trying to blend the colours just with a cotton bud, but that didn't really work that much. Um, it ended up taking most of the pastel off of the paper and onto the cotton bud. Um, so after trying that for a few times, I decided that it was just a lot easier to um, blend with the actual um, pastel pencils themselves. So laying down different colours and then going back in and blending them um, in a similar way that you would blend um, colouring pencils by trying to burnish. I did the same thing by laying down a darker colour and then going in with a lighter colour or laying down a light colour, going in with the darker colour and then going back over with the lighter colour until I got the result that I wanted. I really enjoyed working on this piece in this way. Um, it was a lot more successful than when I tried to do it with watercolour paper. This uh, Canson Mitant uh, paper is designed for using with pastels. It still has a little bit of a texture but it's not as pronounced as if you were using a, a, a very textured watercolour paper and that did help it gave you enough tooth to um, put the pastels down um, but not too much texture that you couldn't blend it into the grooves of the paper which I thought was good. Now that I've got to try out these uh, pastel pencils a little bit more I'm not sure that I would really recommend them they're oh, definitely okay for starting out um, but they do blunt very very quickly and I did have problems with quite a few of them, especially the white and the peach, in that they were kind of broken a lot inside the lead. So every time I tried to sharpen them, they'd just break off and break off and break off. So that I just felt like I was wasting um, the pastels because I was having to sharpen them so much and then they just break off. And it... ah. Oh. I wasn't totally pressed. I don't know if that's just that I was in unlucky and I've got a tin that ended up being bashed around a lot or if that's generally because the leads maybe are so soft. Um, it, they don't hold the point very well so it is very difficult to go in and put some details. Um, but at the same time I am quite enjoying using pastels to do coloured pictures. Um, so I'm not completely put off but maybe if I was going to buy some more, I might look into investing in another brand. I know I've seen other people on YouTube using um, different brands. So yeah, that might be something that I would look into. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend using just these Koinor pencils um, if you're not entirely happy with the fact that they break all the time and they... They are, they are very difficult to do details with because they are so soft. Um, but I think I did a fairly good job with this one. I was definitely more impressed with this one than I was with my last piece when I tried to do a flower. Um, after I've done this, this side, I just go back in and basically repeat the same process over and over again <laughs> um, with the other side and uh, just laying down the colours in layers and trying to build it up in that way. And then at the end, I decided to go in and put the butterfly on, not a butterfly, a moth. I tried to put it on a leaf and I I was definitely more impressed with the, the moth than I was with the leaf. Um, it's really, really hard to kind of work out how to do shading and uh, 
and lighting on when you're trying to make up a leaf. Um, so I got the shading around the back of the butterfly okay, but just the grooves where the actual leaf was was very difficult. Um, and then in the end, I just went in and shaded the rest of the background um, with a oh, with greens and blues, pan, pan pastels. And they actually went onto the paper really nicely. Um, I couldn't get a really thick layer of them, but I felt like they did a pretty good um, covering anyway, so that you don't see any of the background from the paper. So I was really impressed with how this one turned out. Um, if you like what you see, um, then please feel free to subscribe because I'm planning on doing more videos like this in the future and uh, even give it a thumbs up. Um, I'd like to know in the comments what you think or if you've ever, if you've had experience using pastels and which paper works for you, um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put some music on for the rest of the video. So I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the butterfly. No moth. <laughs> come into shape. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!